questions are about all the manifest types of angels. Lord, we are God, Lord, we. We are looking to come from the spirit of truth, Lord, in our present, and show us all things. Treasure blessings in your life. Come to my hands and cleanse us of all the world and save our souls of God. Holy God, we are mighty in the world of our souls. Holy God, we are mighty in the world of our souls. Holy God, It's the kingdom and the power and the glory for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. O 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father's who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth, let mine eyes behold thy brightness. I was proved my heart, I was visited in the night. I was tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips, I have kept the ways that are hard. And set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Find thine ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercy be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wounds wilt thou shelter me, in the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. My enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth hath spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as a mighty lion ready for his prey, and as mighty lions dwelt and dwelt in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from all godly men, my sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy beauty thou separate them from the earth and their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures have their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with the swine and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled with thy glory as may manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me, let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on me be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me, for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him in a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, bring me up from my necessities. Behold my loneliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. O keep my soul and rescue me, let me not be put to shame, for I approach in thee. 
The innocent and the upright have pleaded unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, the blood of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Hence <coughs> the only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail, and thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, and hidden in secret things of thy wisdom, as thou may manifest unto me. And thou shalt spread me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, that those that be humble they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. For overt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and warrant offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. <coughs> the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In their sufferings, O Lord, thy martyrs received imperishable crowns from thee, our God. For possessed of thy might, they said it not the tormentors and crushed the feeble audacity of the demons. By their supplications, save thou our souls, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theophilus, thou art the true vine that has blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. Be we supplicate, intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, as we pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, for as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. On this day thou didst rise from the tomb, O merciful one, leading us from the gates of death. On this day Adam exults as he rejoices, but the prophets and patriarchs they unceasingly praise the divine majesty of thy power. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of
who at all times and in every hour, in heaven and on earth, are worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, who in long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassionate, who love us the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour, and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies. Direct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Countess us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith, and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Sovereign God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and now, O Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgment which thou knowest, save me, thine unworthy servant. For blessed are thou which we ages of ages on there. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul, and have not sent God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. <clears throat> Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and stay not my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled at the voice of the enemy, and the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath they were angry against me, my heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling are come upon me, and darkness hath covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? I will fly and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off and have dwelt in the wilderness. I have waited for God that saveth me from faith heartedness and from tempest. To plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen iniquity and gain saying in the city. Day and night they go round about her upon the walls. Iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if my enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it. And if he that hateth me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was a man of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend. Thou who together with me did sweeten my repasts, in the house of God I walked with thee in oneness of mind. Let death come upon such ones and let them go down alive in the Hades, for wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me unto God have I cried, and the Lord hearkened unto me. Evening, morning, and noon, day will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh me, for they among them will with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He hath spread forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have convened. Their words were smoother than oil, yet they are darks. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shall bring down those men into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will open him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters, and from every troubling word. For his shoulders will be overshadowed thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. For the shield will his truth encompass thee, that shall not be afraid to the terror by night, 
nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the misshapen demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee it shall not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art thy hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the asp and basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he hath set his hope on thee, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath thrown my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. With him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With the length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. For the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled out death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the death of hell. And has granted the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In their sufferings, the Lord thy martyrs received imperishable crowns from the our God. For, for, for possessed of thy might, they set it off the tormentors and crushed the feeble audacity of the demons. By their supplications, save thou our souls. Now and ever in the two ages of ages, Amen. Seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, do thou beseech him that was born of the O Virgin Theotokos. But the supplication of a mother availeth much to win the Master's favor. Sustain not the prayer of sinners of all pure ones, for merciful and mighty to save his ease. Remain also to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, for cleanse us from our sins, as we pardon our transgressions. Holy One, that is in you, our Trinity, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. This day thou didst rise from the tomb, O merciful one, leading us from the gates of death. On this day Adam exults as he rejoices, for the prophets and patriarchs they unceasingly praise the divine majesty of thy power. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour, in heaven and on earth, art worshiping, glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who callest all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith, and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. 
For blessed art thou in true ages of ages, amen. O Lord, I know that I am unworthy to receive thy holy body and precious blood. I know that I am guilty and that I eat and drink condemnation to myself, not discerning the body and blood of Christ my God. But trusting in thy loving kindness, I come unto thee who hath said, He that eateth my body and drinketh my blood shall dwell in me, and I in him. Therefore, O Lord, have compassion on me, and make God an example of me, thy sinful servant. But do unto me according to thy great mercy, and grant that these holy gifts may be for me unto the healing, purification, enlightenment, protection, salvation, and sanctification of my soul and body, and to the expulsion of every evil imagination, sinful deed or work of the devil. May they move me to reliance on me and to love thee always, to amend and keep her in my life, and be ever in the increase of virtue, to the keeping of the Holy Spirit, and to give the thanks before the great judgment seat, and for life eternal. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thou who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, through thy own most we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God and Lord of hosts and maker of all, all creation, by the tender compassion of thy mercy which transcendeth comprehension, and send down thy most be God to the Son of Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross it is tear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby his triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Thou thyself, O Master, thy breath mankind, accept also from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, which deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, who seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh, O God, hear us, and incline out our hearts to work the thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee and being guided by thy light as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the unoriginate Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages. Of each In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and the union of all.
delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Blessed and glorious Lady, felt all ghosts, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For to thee, in all, all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages and ages. Father. 
and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages.
to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let us honor with inspired hymns the two martyrs for truth, the preachers of true devotion, Zenobius and Zenobia. As brother and sister they lived and suffered together, and through martyrdom they deserve and corrupt. I taught it, 
but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former conduct in the religion of the Jews, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I advanced in the religion of the Jews beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood, neither did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and remained with him for fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except for James, the brother of the Lord. Peace, Anthony, who read us. Answer thy spirit. Wisdom. The Alleluia in the third tone. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
When those who fed them saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They also had seen it, told them by what means he who had been demon-possessed was healed. Then the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the Gadarenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. And he got into the boat and returned. Now the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your own house, and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. Peace be unto thee, proclaim us the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto thee, O Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every time I hear this uh, gospel of the Lord's casting out of legion and the tumbling into the sea of the several thousand swine, that we must be close to Halloween. It always happens. It never uh, ceases to amaze me that this is the gospel that our Lord appoints to be read in his holy church, usually right before, right after Halloween. There has been a lot of discussion um, amongst Christians, uh, both in person and online and social media, about um, Halloween. I think that the Lord appoints this particular gospel on the Sunday to help maybe give us some insight into demonic activity. And what, if anything, we have to fear. You see, our Lord, as I've preached before, took the apostles to the gathering district with the specific intent of introducing them to Legion, to the man who was bound with chains, right, um, who wore no clothes, and because of the ferocity of his demonic possession, was driven into the wilderness. Many of us get um, quite a reaction, at least quite an impression, that image. And then we start to wonder, well, you know, how powerful truly is evil, and where does evil lurk? according to the spirituality of our church, according to the holy fathers and mothers who have um, encountered the evil one and the demons head on, sometimes in a very tangible fashion. The greatest fear, the greatest cause for pause, ultimately, has to do with the machinations of the evil one, the workings of the demons within ourselves. Where, by the way, was legion um, when they were when he was encountered by Christ and the apostles in the man on the inside everything that happens afterward after Christ expels right exercises the demon is simply an image of what was already going on inside that man's heart the demon possessed man's heart the evil one wants nothing more than our own destruction. And when given license, certainly we'll make that known. 
usually through violence. But the devil's preferred <coughs> dwelling place, right, is not out there. He certainly didn't want to go into the herd of swine. He did so because he had no other options. He prefers to dwell in the human heart. So when we are moved to fear or concern about the presence of, of evil, we need to first, before we start looking out there and passing judgment about the culture, uh, about the government, about other Christians, other people, we need to stop and look in here first. The evil one, you know, is very cunning. He likes to, when he can, present a facade of compassion, of concern, a kind of foe or pseudo holiness, godliness. We know that the evil one can impersonate, right, an angel of light. And it seems like nowadays, especially within the church, and within the hearts and minds of certain Orthodox Christians, the evil one is succeeding. And again, presenting this kind of false impression. So we must be careful. I preached last Sunday on how we have to check the source. I was sent, and it's actually a rather old article um, that was first written by a, a hierarch of the Russian Orthodox Church Abroad back in 2012, written to some couple, some parents, we don't know who, we don't, and that's significant, because it's a letter addressed to those individuals who he probably knew, we don't even know this. It's a prescription, not unlike some of the letters of the Apostle Paul, that are telling particular individuals at a particular time and place um, how he uh, recommends that they address a particular issue, how they are to conduct themselves. The holy tradition of the church is given to us to help discern when those particular letters and what parts of them are applicable to us verbatim, literally, and which um, uh, have the spirit of truth that might be applied in a way that is not exactly according to the letter of the law. We have no idea, based on this letter that I'm referring to, um, what the situation was for this couple. The prescription, basically, a very um, kind of routine monastic one, because this particular hierarch um, uh, had been a monastic for quite some time before being consecrated bishop, was to flee the world, right? Be cautious of, of your interactions in the world. Don't, you know, take your direction from the world. Realize that uh, ultimately things are maybe not as innocent as they seem. And so then he directs them to, on the Feast of Halloween, to do something else. And by the way, I, I did say feast. It's not a feast of the Orthodox Church. But it's a, a, a feast, certainly, of the Western Church or the Roman Catholic Church. Now, some will take that letter and say, aha, we need to follow it exactly as it says. It is not appropriate ever uh, to allow children to um, celebrate Halloween. Well, guess what? Why did that particular letter emerge at this particular time? Who sent it out? Was it the author? It was not the author. It came from a, um, a website called Orthodox Ethos. Some of you may be familiar with it. It is run by an individual who has no bishop, who has uh, fomented all kinds of unrest and rebellion against the hierarchy, 
who has definitely a very serious unorthodox agenda. I can't even tell you if that letter that was posted was not how even somehow doctored in some way. I have no idea. What's curious, though, is that we have been given some direction from our own hierarch, specifically on what to do at this time. And what's also curious is um, also coming out of the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia, um, several priests who comment on, in fact, uh, what the origins of Halloween really are. And basically come um, up with a, a conclusion that this day, not unlike Christmas in Western culture today, or Easter, has been commercialized and has been corrupted from what it was intended to be. Does that surprise anybody? <laughs> So not necessarily everything that goes on at this time is good. It doesn't also mean that it's also inherently evil. There's a temptation in our day and age to demonize everything else and to look outside except in here first. Demonize the culture. Demonize certainly certain groups of people. According to this Rokor priest, much of the um, anti-Halloween message is based on anti-Catholic propaganda from the 19th century. Halloween basically is an abbreviation of the word Hallow's Evening. It is the beginning of a Christian festive period of Hallow Tide which is centered around the Feast of All Hallows, or All Saints' Day, and the Feast of All Souls. We have in the Orthodox Church All Saints' Day. For us, it's the first Sunday after Pentecost. Since the 8th century, before the split between East and West, Pope Gregory, who was the Pope of Rome at the time, moved the date of that feast, his prerogative entirely, nothing wrong with what, uh, of doing that. The Church has done that periodically, um, as needed, move the date for the West to right November 1st. We also have All Souls Days in the Orthodox Church, in which we pray right for the departed, usually right before Pentecost, every Saturday of Lent, just some examples. Some people say that Halloween has something, some origins or something to do with the pagan feast of, um, and uh, forgive me if I mispronounce uh, this, um, since I'm not uh, of Celtic origin, Sam, 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 Sam Hein, how do you say it? Sam. Thank you. It can't be. St. Patrick, and again, not just coincidentally, I celebrated liturgy at the mission of St. Patrick yesterday in Newport. St. Patrick of Ireland defeated paganism, cast out, right, the, the, the worship of the pagan idols in the year 461. There is absolutely nothing about the pre-Christian uh, Samhain, however you say it, um, celebrations that we have uh, any idea about what it was in, even involved. But suffice it to say, some say it means autumn. Suffice it to say that whatever it was didn't exist after 461. Some of the customs that um, have uh, uh, come about as, as part of the, um, again, Halloween celebration um, based it had their origins in pious Christian practice. Again, that somehow got a little twisted. Going around and saying trick or treat is a rather new development. Something that came about in America in, at the turn of the 20th century, about 1930s. 
But the practice of going door to door was a Christian practice called souling. A custom where children would ask for alms, usually in the form of, of little cakes, in exchange for the promise to pray for the deceased loved ones of the family that they were visiting. It was a charitable exchange all around. Its connection to Halloween has more to do with the prayers and masses offered for the departed on All Souls Day. It was in America that it was changed to trick or treat. Maybe a less charitable exchange of goodies for the promise of good behavior, but this was more acceptable in Protestant America than praying for the dead. See, this is how the evil one works. Wants us to, to uh, take on the mantle of self-righteousness. Wants us to um, judge the culture and shift our focus on the culture on a secular holiday that according to our own bishop is nothing wrong. Sending ch children dressed up innocently as Disney characters to go door to door and ask for candy is probably the only opportunity that many in the neighborhood will have even interchanging, interacting with those children. There are certainly things that go on on Halloween, on Christmas, on Easter that should not be done by Christians. It does not negate the good that can come from observing and conducting oneself in a Christian way regardless. So I want to make it clear that those who are trying to get us to take the focus off our heart and shift it out there, even though it comes in the guise, uh, in the mantle of an, uh, of an orthodox source, may not be orthodox. Check your sources. And then if there is a question, um, then don't hesitate, right? You can ask me. You can ask um, the bishop. Archbishop Benjamin is very accessible. You can ask uh, uh, others, right, who might not have the same fear or tendency to demonize that is so common today. So if we have to take pause, then, of demonic activity, we need to start here. If we can clear ourselves of the passions, if we can rid ourselves of our own personal demons, then we're going to have a clear understanding, maybe more compassion, about how to um, respond to the culture at large and to other people in groups of people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.
give them rest, for there is neither sickness nor sorrow, but life everlasting. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation with the servants of God. <coughs> the Archpriest Anthony, Archpriest Luke, Linda, Leslie, Katerina, Mark, Elena, Patience, John, Dolores, Bill, Anthony, Nathan, Melanie, Kiprian, Lithia Joy, Kylie, Leland, Peyton, Kayla, Ezra, Saul, Charles, Ryan, Francis, Christy, Christina, Bowden, Kaylin, Ela, Stephen, <coughs> the Subdeacon John, Veronica, Yehudiel, Barbara, Ann, Daniel, Anna, Clement, Catherine, Amelia, Paul, and John, and our brethren of this holy temple. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation for those who are suffering, wounded, grieving, or displaced because of the war in Ukraine. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for a cessation of hostilities against Ukraine. That reconciliation and peace will flourish there. We pray the ark and then have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who wait thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And up glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. <coughs> Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. That they that thou mayest pardon them all their offenses, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God may make their souls to dwell where the righteous repose. The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and forgiveness of their sins. Let us ask of Christ. Our Lord, King of God, let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, the Spirit of all flesh, who has trampled down death and overthrown the devil and given life to thy world, to thou the same Lord, give rest to the souls of thy servants, Ed and Stephen, who have fallen asleep. A place of light, a place of refreshment, a place of repose, whence all sickness, sorrow, and sighing are fled away. Pardon every sin committed by them in word, in our thought. Thou art a good God who loves mankind, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. Thou only art without sin, and thy righteousness is to all eternity, and thy word is true. For thou art the resurrection and the life and the repose of my servants, and in scheme of fall asleep of Christ our God. And unto thee we send up glory, together with thy Father, which from everlasting, and thy all holy, good, and life feeding spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Praise to the Lord, ye catechumens. Bless the faithful, pray for the catechumens, and the Lord may have mercy on them. Gospel of righteousness. You may 
justified. Let no catechumen remain. Let us be faithful again and again in peace. Pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Lord, we give all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Yet to the most blessed he come Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, and his eminence, the most reverend Benjamin, Archbishop of San Francisco and the West, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and into ages of ages. For this God protected land, its president, all civil authorities, and for those who serve in the armed forces, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The founders, benefactors, beautifiers, and prisoners of this holy temple, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The newly departed servants of God, Ed and Stephen, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever. And unto ages of ages.
with fear, let us attend that we may offer only oblation in Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord.
shall partake thereof. They may be unto cleansing of soul, unto forgiveness of sins, unto communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, not unto judgment, nor unto condemnation. Can we offer unto thee this rational worship for those who have faith and gone before to their rest? Ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit in faith made perfect, especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. <laughs> Just 
creating spirit, now never, and unto ages of ages. Let us attend. Our holy things are for the holy.
blood of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, was given to the servant of David for the remission of his sins and our true life. The precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, was given unto the servant of God and for the remission of our sins and our true life for God's sake. The precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, was given unto the servant of God and Savior, Precious and most holy God, in the Lord God the Savior, was the Lord God the Savior, John, the Lord God the Savior, the Lord God the Savior, Jesus Christ. The precious and most holy God, in the Lord God the Savior, Jesus Christ, has given unto us our destiny, the remission of sins, and unto life everlasting. The precious and most holy God, in the Lord God the Savior, Jesus Christ, has given unto the servant of God, Stephen, for the remission of his sins, and unto life everlasting. The precious and most holy God, in the Lord God the Savior, Christ is given under the servant of God, the river of God, the remission of sins, and unto God, and the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given under the servant of God, and unto God, for the remission of our sins, and unto God, and unto God. Take away thy iniquities and cleanse thee from all thy sins. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us bow down before the Lord Jesus and the sinless one. Thy cross the worship of Christ and thy holy resurrection be given to our lives. For thou art our God, we know no other than thee, thy name we name. How will I be faithful as worship of Christ's holy resurrection? For behold, in the cross of joy is coming to all the world. Let us in his resurrection. For by enduring the cross for us, by death has he abolished death. Shine, shine, O no Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Dance and rejoice, O Zion, and thou, O pure Theotokos, exult in the rising of him thou hast made. O great and holy Apostle, O Christ, wisdom. Word of God and power, grant us truly to partake of thee in the never-ending day of thy kingdom. Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those we remember by thy precious blood. Through the prayers of all thy sins. Let us commend our 
ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Trust in thee, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in return by thy divine power, and forsake us not that hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authority, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
the spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled down death and overthrown the devil and given life to thy world. Thou the same, Lord, give rest to the souls of thy servants, Stephen, Ed, John, Jerry, David, Ron, Telemachus, Matushka Barbara, Matushka Lila, Anne, Matushka Marie, Uriah Judith, Anne, Anne, Helen, Irene, Ruth, Mary, also Ronald, Frederick, Alma, and Lois, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of refreshment, a place of repose, whence all sickness, sorrow, and sighing are fled away. Pardon every sin committed by them and word in our thought. For thou art a good God who loves mankind. There is no one who lives and does not sin. Thou only art without sin, and thy righteousness is everlasting, and thy word is truth. For thou art the resurrection, the life, and the repose of thy servants who fall asleep. O Christ our God, and unto thee we send up glory, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, and thy all holy good, and life being spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate mother, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy martyrs Zenobius and his sister Zenobia, who commemorate today, the holy and righteous forebears of God, Joachim and Anne, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. salvation, sanctification, furtherance in all good things, to thy servants, Ephraim, Catherine, Helen, Matushka Marie on their birthdays, to the servants of God, Nicholas, Alexandra, Sean and Mary, Sabdika, Vasilios, and Linda on their wedding anniversaries, and preserve them, O Lord, for many years. Amen. Uh, again, uh, 
a special maybe many years congratulations to um, Ryan John Charbonneau and Alexis Amelia Charbonneau um, their second daughter second child uh, Naomi was born Wednesday morning so um, again we are looking forward to meeting uh, Naomi and looking forward to the day when we can uh, receive her into the, the church and, and give her her first communion. So congratulations. Um, Shravnos are also moving on to, on to the hilltop here in just a, a few days, so <laughs> uh, Godspeed on that. <laughs> um, uh, in terms of, of other uh, announcements, there is a church was scheduled for the, for the hilltop at, at 12.30. I will um, be there. The, the plan is that we have some artwork um, that we're going to be putting together a, a mural. We're going to start um, forever is, is, is present and will continue. That will be an ongoing project um, that uh, we will be working on. Machu, did you have something? To... Um, two things. One, um, we're going to get a meal train going for the Charbonneaux. Okay. They have a few meals to start, but um, we're going to get them going. Then we're going to get a meal train going for the Charbonneaux. They have a few meals to start, but um, so we'll put that in your email. And secondly, um, back in relation to Reek Fest, there's a number of personal items that we're really grateful that you lent um, us for the Reek Fest. Um, I think there's some propane tanks, there may be a couple of um, coolers, um, but if, could you please clear out anything that belongs to you today so we don't inadvertently store all of it in the top and then you won't see it in front of your <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Any other announcements? I think that's probably it. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Um, so, we'll, uh, by the way, um, uh, uh, um, Fotini, Jenny Burge uh, uh, did the uh, Koliva today. So God bless you, the first time, right? So um, see, uh, with faith, all things are possible. So. Grant us eternal in blessed repose, O Lord, to thy servants, Stephen, Ed, John, David, Kilimachus, Matushka Barbara, Matushka Lila, Anne, Matushka Marie, Korea, Judith, Anna, and Helen, Irene, Ruth, Mary, Ronald, Frederick, Allen, and Lois will fall asleep, and make the memory to be eternal. Master Christ our God, King of the ages and creator of all things, 
I thank thee for all the good things thou hast bestowed upon me and for the communion of thy most pure and life creating mysteries. I pray thee, therefore, O good one and lover of mankind, keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings and grant me, even unto my last breath, to partake worthily of the pure conscience of thy holy things unto the remission of sins and life eternal. That thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of good things. Thus indeed we send up glory together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O thou who givest me willingly thy flesh's food, thou who art fire and doth consume me unworthy, burn me not, O my Creator, but rather enter thou into my members, into all my joints, my reins, my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sin. Purify my soul, sanctify my thoughts. Strengthen my substance together with my bones. Light my simple five senses. Nail down the whole of me with the fear of thee. Ever protect, preserve, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify, cleanse, and adore me. Make me comfortable and give me understanding and light. Show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer a habitation of sin. Let me be as thine abode to the entry of communion. Every evil doer, every passion may be as from fire. As intercessors, I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the body of hosts, and thy poor and the wise apostles, and thy undefiled pure mother. Please do thou accept of my compassion in Christ, and make thy servant a child of light. For thou alone art our sanctification of the blood, and the radiance of our souls. And unto thee as God and Master, we all set up glory as a speech every day. Lord Jesus Christ our God, may thy holy body be unto me for thy eternal, and thy precious blood for the remission of sin. Good morning, Lord. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy and health and gladness. At thy second, at thy dread second coming, thou saved me as I stand at the right hand of thy glory, through the intercessions of my most dear mother and of all the saints. Most holy lady, there is no hope, I of my darkened soul, my hope, protection, refuge, consolation, my joy. I thank thee that thou hast been saved me, grown and worthy, to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy son. O thou who gavest birth to the true life, thou who my the spiritual lives of my heart, thou who gavest birth to the source of immortality, revive me who have dead in sin. Thou who art the loving and compassionate mother of the merciful God, mercy upon me and grant me compunction and contrition in my heart, humility in my thoughts, and the recall of my thoughts from captivity, and thou save me until my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries, for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may take this Lord by thee of all the days of my life. Blessed and most glorified art thou unto the ages. Amen. Lord, now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. A light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. As your part in our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Praise shining forth from thy lips like a beacon as enlightened the universe, and it shown to the world the riches of poverty, and has revealed to us the heights of humility, teaching us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede before the word Christ our God to save our souls. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having received divine grace from heaven with thy mouth, thou dost teach all men to worship one God in Trinity. All blessed and venerable John Chrysostom, we worthily praise thee, for thou art our teacher, revealing things divine. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, do not despise the cry of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost always protect those who honor thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos, we magnify thee. Thank you. 